All right, uh, 15, we've already gone over this somewhat. Define rotational inertia. Okay, we've already looked at that. Where was that? It's somewhere over here. Rotational inertia. It's given by this. The inertia of the object times it's the square of the distance to the uh, axis of rotation. That's your rotational inertia for a particle and for an extended object. Okay, then here's a very important uh, topic or concept, the lever arm distance for a particle moving near an axis of rotation. Okay, so uh, let me just use what's in the textbook. Okay, so here we have a particle. It's got a certain uh, momentum, mv. Okay, and we need to remember that this is the line of action. It's the direction that the particle is moving in. And then we draw a perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to that line of action. And then that is our lever arm. This is very important in the next couple of chapters when we talk about something called torque or moment. Okay, so we need to make sure we understand what this lever arm is. Now, naturally, remember that uh, the angular momentum, angular momentum, is given by r perpendicular m v. So this is your momentum of the particle. But um, the larger this uh, this perpendicular distance, this lever arm is, the higher, the larger your angular momentum is. So you could have the same momentum of this object, but say now it's going in this, di this direction, along this line of action. And so then your perpendicular distance would be that, r perpendicular. So you could have exactly the same mv, but you're going to have a larger angular momentum, which means you can have a, a larger momentum. Um, tendency to want to cause this object to rot rotate, right? Okay, because your R perpendicular, your lever arm is larger. All right. How is angular momentum L related to momentum MV for an object of inertia M moving with constant velocity? We just did it. L is R mv okay so that was 17 okay so another uh, this is also equal to i omega okay so make sure you get this so um, i omega this is your rotational inertia that's your rotational velocity. Then this is your lever arm. And this is your momentum. Okay? Angular momentum can be uh, defined in these two ways. What is the meaning of the statement angular momentum is conserved? Well, it means that it, it can't be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one object to the other. Okay, Moment, uh, conservation laws, conservation of momentum, conservation of energy. It can't be created or destroyed, only transferred. Okay, okay, there'll be one more video.